best ever. 20 little horror films, all of them starring you. The trouble with a boss who's a tyrant. Who are you going to beat up now? How about I pick on somebody who'll fight back? Is when they finally... You're the one that smirk off your face. ...let out their anger. You're the worst of all. ...in a rage. I just found three typos. When you thought your job was bad. New SVU, this Wednesday, 10, 9 central on NBC. You're watching KXA and Austin News at 10. Good evening, I'm David Scott. A Cedar Park mother says that her autistic son was bullied at school for years and sexually assaulted by some of his classmates. Tonight she's talking only on Austin News. Jacqueline Inglaze joining us live from C.C. Mason Elementary in Cedar Park. Jackie, the mother discovered this apparently happened one day after school, is that right? David, yes, she did. The mother of that boy told me that she picked him up here at C.C. Mason Elementary on December 15th to take him to a speech pathology appointment. Now, she says her son suffers from autism, Asperger's syndrome, and a slew of other medical conditions. It was on their way to therapy that the boy claimed he was being assaulted. Elizabeth Lowe says she pulled her son out of C.C. Mason Elementary School this past December. She claims the 10-year-old was bullied for years and sexually assaulted by his classmates. He's a special ed student. It started with kids calling him names. It progressed into kids hitting him, um, touching him. Lowe says her son started acting strange. He was sitting in his room shredding a pair of clean underwear with his hands. His attitude also changed. He would say things like, you know, Mommy, I, I'll smile all day tomorrow if you'll let me stay home. Lowe says after she picked up her son from school on December 15, 2010, she decided to ask him what was wrong. Has anybody been bothering you with your private area? Because that's what he calls it. And he said in a very matter-of-fact tone, yeah. Lowe claims four classmates followed her son into the bathroom, pulled him out of the stall with his pants down, and threatened to hurt him if he didn't touch his privates in front of them. One of them touched him to tell him how to do it the right way. Lowe called the school and the police. Her son's therapist got the same story from the boy and submitted this statement to police and the principal. The school sent Lowe a letter saying they were investigating. Officials would not tell Lowe how the kids were punished, stating school code prohibits them from giving out that information. All four boys are back in school. I'm feeling completely dismissed. I feel that my son, um, that everything has been pretty much brushed uh, under the rug. Charges have not been filed against the four boys either. Police released a statement that said, we definitely acknowledge that the child was subject to intimidation, inappropriate behavior, and bullying. But that behavior did not rise to the level to substantiate the indecency allegation or a crime. Now, Lowe says she believes it's her son that's being punished. He hasn't been in school for two months, and she fears that he will have to repeat the fourth grade. Now, the school says it does have a zero-tolerance policy for bullying. Now, Lowe wants to know why this policy hasn't been acted on and these students expelled. Our calls to the school for comment were not immediately returned. As for the police investigation, this case is now on inactive status, meaning it will not be reopened until new evidence turns up. Live in Cedar Park, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN, Austin News.